Hey, Huckster here. I'm over here washing dishes. There might be a little extra sink noise going on. But this is a reply to Red Smokey. With his video toward a mighty wind. And I, I have to admit, I've never kept up with a mighty wind. I don't know what they teach, what uh, Bruce is so upset about with them. I mean, it sounds like they believe in reptilians and <laughs> space aliens and and then your typical Christian kind of stuff, devils and demons and curses and all that. that, that you know, I can kind of relate to what Red is saying uh, when he starts talking about them putting curses on people if they try to get out of the cult, as he calls it. But uh, I made a video a little while back about why I rant and rave and tried to explain it, an explanation of it. And it's because it, that I, I see Christians doing the same thing that, that Bruce is talking about these mighty wind people do. You know, and his perfect example of that would be that in this video a Christian came on there and told me that if I didn't change my ways not only would I end up in a hell, but in this life, my walk would be extremely rough. And that I wouldn't get any blessings and I wouldn't prosper unless I believed as he believed in fallen angels, angels that sinned in heaven against God, rebelled against God, and were cast down to the earth, and now are demons. Unless I believed in things like that, unless I believed that there was a hell, a place created by the great creator, especially for the punishment of the majority of the people. And unless I believed that the majority of the people, who are good people, they will say, deserve this hell, which they say is a fire. They will be in pain and agony forever, and that they deserve it. Even though they are good people, they deserve it because they don't believe the way they do. Now, that right there is as close as coming to uh, putting a curse on anybody as I've ever seen. And now I don't know what a mighty wind does. I've never dealt with them. I stay away from people like that. Because it's not the truth. And you're, you're dabbling in stuff that... And you know, you're bringing to people's attention that people that may get sucked into it. They, they love that attention they're getting from people like Bruce and other people that's trying to expose them. That's what they're doing. They're giving them exposure. Uh, you know, and I, I have watched one or two of a Mighty Winds video. I hadn't seen the ones that evidently Bruce is talking about where they believe in aliens and reptilians and, you know, family members turning into somebody else and all. But I have seen plenty of Christian videos where if you don't believe like they do, you're cursed. And, and I believe this came from a couple of thousand years of the traditional Christian system. Believing in demons and devils and doctrines of hell and 
where do you think the mighty wind got there? They just decided one day we'll start believing like this. No, it's what they've been taught from Christianity probably all their lives. And they just took it a step further. They added on to it the teachings of uh, people who believe in, in uh, conspiracies and aliens and all that, they just added that to the Christian teaching. They've heard preachers for all their lives saying that if you don't do this or if you don't do that, you're going to hell. Devils are going to get you. Demons. And you know, here a while back they had, uh, you know, it's been a while, but there was a guy on there that had a series of videos about how flying saucers were spaceships of devils coming to deceive the people. I mean, you know, that's, that's nonsense. We live in a world that's real. Jesus was real. His apostles were real. And what they said was true. And translations has made it into, uh, you know, a big Harry Potter story. Not what the original words said, but translations. They created fallen angels. Fallen angels were the, the men in, in numbers that went against Moses and the ground swallowed them up. Those were messengers of God that went against God's mes message through Moses. They were messengers, not angels, not heavenly beings. They were earthly men that were messengers of God's word. And they had, they had decided to take it on themselves to say, God has told me this, but just the same way that many Christians do today. Christians today tell you that the world is going to end, and these are the last days. And, and within that teaching, is you can't deny the fact that there's going to be billions upon billions of people killed only to wake up in a place of eternal punishment. Christians long for that day to happen. You know, Jesus told his apostles of the signs to watch out for that would come in the last days. And it wasn't the last day of the world, it was the last day of that old covenant, the Jewish system that was set up. It was coming to an end. But Jesus warned his apostles not to listen to anybody that was telling you it was the last time without these signs taking place. But the funny thing is that Jesus' own apostles began to teach that it was the last time. It was the final hour. So unless they, Jesus' own apostles, were false prophets, and everybody since them that has proclaimed that we're in the last days would have to be false prophets. If those days in that first century weren't the last days that Jesus taught about, but Christians today, they, they use these same scare tactics that sound like to me that these people that Red's against use. They put the fear of last days, they put the fear of hell, they put the fear of devil, devils and demons in our youth from their from the time they start to understand what Christianity is about. That's what they drum into them. And you know, you can call these other people a cult all you want, but are you in the same position? Are you doing the same thing? I'm going to hush now. Peace, love, justice, 
understanding, music, 